This processing plant in Lagos produces 5,000 litres of gel every day. Made from sawdust and water hyacinth, the gel is used as a renewable energy source for cooking. The startup behind the initiative, Green Energy and Biofuels, says the raw material grows wild in Nigeria and is less damaging than establishing biofuel crops like palm oil, which often results in deforestation. Like many other uh, ethanol products that we have in the market today, most of the majority are actually the food grade, but as ethanol is a second generation bioethanol. So we don't process our ethanol from cassava, milk, sugarcane, like many other companies actually uh, extract their ethanol from. But ours is from the biomass, like the water essence and the, and the sawdust. It's estimated 98,000 Nigerian women die annually from smoke inhaled while cooking with firewood. The gel offers an alternative for women who depend on firewood and charcoal for cooking by providing them with a safer, cleaner alternative. Around 350 households are now using the biogel and the company has distributors working in Nigeria, Ghana and Benin. Nigerian market have received and have accepted our product so warmly to the extent that today we are even behind because the market absorption is higher than what we could produce. That is why up to date we're still having the crisis having to use our closed network marketing model to distribute this product. The gel is also much cheaper than traditional fuels used at home, which means many people are benefiting from its health benefits. I haven't been an asthmatic patient for a very long time. I saw this as a welcome, uh, I, I was excited that if the uh, end product is oxygen, then it will definitely be good for me, which means that my kitchen, my environment and everything will be saturated with oxygen, which gives life as against carbon. So that was one of the main reasons why I decided to use this stove. The company has plans to export the gel throughout Africa as a safe alternative fuel, while at the same time helping to meet the continent's growing energy needs. Andrew Thompson, CCTV.